This is a response to the question, how much vacuum should a good brake booster hold on GaddysGarageMahal.com? Asked by 1985 Bronco. Hey guys, good evening. I'm gonna show you a method that I found that I have been using as of today to see if a brake booster might be good or bad. So I've had some poor braking on this truck here and uh, just really bad. Everything else is new except the brake booster. Cylinders, hoses, shoes, you name it, everything is new. Anyways, brake booster. So we're gonna test this with a little handheld vacuum pump and a larger HVAC vacuum pump. So I've got a bad booster and a good one. So let's go to the good one first. So here's a little handheld unit and I have it hooked up to the brake booster there. And I have been trying to pump this for a good one minute or so. And the vacuum climbs up to like five and it stays right there. It won't go past that. So my theory is that this handheld pump is just too small and it's not able to evacuate that chamber 100%. So I'm gonna try hooking up a HVAC vacuum pump to that and see what happens. And by the way, I've already tried this here on that bad one and it will not pump any. It will not pump any vacuum on that. So what I've done here is I have a HVAC unit. There's a hose that goes from there and then it tees off to where one, T, one portion of the T goes to the brake booster, the other one goes to this pump here. Now, I'm not using this as a pump here, just as a witness, as a gauge. So what, watch what happens when I turn the gauge, pump on. We are getting good vacuum. It's pumped it pretty good. Then I'm gonna turn off the pump. And it's holding vacuum pretty good. So this is, I've pinched off the line here because otherwise the pump, it'll leak through the pump. But we have good vacuum here. And then watch what happens when I try to pull that off the booster. I mean, that was good vacuum right there, not leaking. And so here's the same setup on this truck here which has a bad booster and I have the brake booster connected to this setup here and watch hap what happens when I turn on the pump. It goes to about five. That's all it will go to. And then I'm gonna pinch this hose here and then watch how what happened. It went back to, went back to zero. So there's, it's leaking through there, through the booster. So there's no doubts. So of course when I pull this out, there's no pop there because uh, there's no air vacuumed out out of that. So the crazy thing is I haven't had any hissing noises or anything like that. And what I've observed is, uh, my guess is it goes up to about five. So about five inch pounds of the engine vacuum is used to work the brake booster and therefore the brakes have been pretty poor i mean it takes a lot of effort to brake so that there's a new unit that's all hooked up to the same thing and i'm going to turn on the vacuum pump and pump it some pinch the holes now well, that's about how much engine vacuum goes to that and i'm confirming that the new unit is good it's holding vacuum and let's see if we can get a good pop out of it. Hard to do with one hand. I can feel it already hissing. Yep, that was a good pop right there. So I'm gonna replace the brake booster and I'm gonna leave in the comments what happened, what was the before and after, if this actually made a difference. I also want to see what the effect of a leaking brake booster on engine vacuum is. We're about 19 inch pounds on portrait vacuum and as I unplug that you will see that leak. Right now it's pulling about, I'm gonna guess, there's a constant leak at about 5 inch pounds in there. So when I pull this, it'll come. 
it didn't do a whole lot, but watch what, what happens when I plug it. I have plugged it now. So that's going to be working like a brake, uh, good brake booster. And I vacuum up into uh, uh, a little bit of an improvement, but then I have to adjust the idle mixture. Let me optimize that. There you go, that's about 20 inch pounds of vacuum. One inch pound improvement with that brake booster fix. Potentially.